six weeks ago we were here in Hergada and knowing more about the performance of tourism after the revolution of the 25th of January and now it's time again to know more about the performance of tourism here with Mr. Tamir al who is the touristic uh, expert here in Hergada and Makati Bay to tell us more about the performance of tourism in Egypt and Hergada specifically in the past six weeks. Hello sir. Uh, good afternoon. Hello. Uh, unfortunately the last the, the past six weeks mm -hmm. I have to mention that uh, tourism hasn't impressed, it hasn't picked up on terms of volume. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, due to the uh, incidents and the happenings within uh, the region. Uh, in Rafah, maybe, and then... Absolutely, in other the situation of mm -hmm. the uh, Egyptian uh, revolution mm -hmm. itself also did have an impact on the expected uh, tourism or annual tourism. But the performance itself hasn't really uh, increased maybe with the occupancy of the uh, tour, uh, tourists here in the hotel or the results or the neighboring results. Hasn't really got a little bit better after the revolution? Nothing? Well, we're slightly improving since the revolution. Mm -hmm. This I have to mention. But in terms of annual turnover, it mm -hmm. is uncomparable uh, prior Before to the... Before 2011. Uh, prior to the... Uh, so uh, what, uh, what, uh, how did the presidential election actually affect the turnover or the performance of tourism here in Hergada Makati Bay? Did it have an, uh, actually an impression about it? Well, actually, yes, in terms of achievement, mm -hmm. because uh, going through a process of a revolution, mm -hmm. uh, reforms, a new government, uh, what locals mm -hmm. or even uh, tourists would expect mm -hmm. is sta stability mm -hmm. and of course expecting the uh, transformation in stability. Mm -hmm. uh, such a decision uh, or such a period mm -hmm. uh, as the revolution or the presidential election mm -hmm. by itself is an achievement mm -hmm. in terms of a, a government stability. Yeah, you mentioned the new government and the new cabinet. Now we have uh, a new minister for tourism, who is the Mr. Hisham Zazu. Is that correct? Uh, what did he do still now for the tourism? Did he actually impress still now in the past uh, two or three weeks, or nothing yet has changed? Well, of course, uh, the time frame is very, very uh, uh, minimal mm -hmm. in order to judge on a person's performances or capabilities. Mm -hmm. But we all hope for the. Uh, for, for a, a fruitful uh, future mm -hmm. and somebody with uh, a, a touristic background will definitely benefit mm -hmm. which is my personal opinion. So uh, let's stick to or maybe turn over to the demands of the tourists themselves coming here in Egypt. What are the main demands for them here? What are they looking for? Well, in general, well, the most important factors obviously is the good weather mm -hmm. which we uh, thankfully have. Mm -hmm. And the, uh, let's say, the culinary, let's say, mm -hmm. let's say, the culinary aspect mm -hmm. uh, in terms of catering certain markets. Mm -hmm. uh, these are, in general, the different demands from different, uh, I would say, markets. Mm -hmm. 